Hello, I am the Tulsa Astro Geek. Today I'm going to be looking at the latest update to the Android S50 software, the Android 2.2.0 update. As you can see in the uh, release notes, there are six new features, although one is questionable whether it's considered a feature or not. And there's really three of those that uh, has people talking. The biggest new feature in my mind is the intelligent denoising feature, or uh, as it says here, the intelligent denoising feature. A um, little bit, a bit of a typo in the release notes. And what this does is it adds an artificial intelligence um, noise removal feature to the Android software, and that's a Pretty big deal, in my opinion. Um, I've given a test run, which I'll show you here in a minute. I think it works uh, pretty great. Another one to be talking is the uh, second feature, the added dual shot function adaptation. Um, my first on that, and the consensus, consensus online seems to be that this is a new feature for the new uh, C-Star scope, the C-Star S30. Um, which features uh, two cameras instead of just one camera like the S50 has. So that is probably some means of using both cameras at the same time uh, and getting a dual shot that way. Um, it doesn't appear to be a feature for the S50 at all. The third feature that has people talking is the added launch page ads, um, which not exactly a new feature in most people's opinion. Um, I have not actually seen the ads appear yet, um, so I can't really comment too much one way or another. Um, I think as long as they're not, you know, obnoxious, it's not great, but in my opinion, it's not a big deal. Um, but this video, I'm focusing on the intelligent uh, denoising, which we'll take a look at uh, right now. As you can see, this is a capture in progress of uh, the Pleiades asterism, um, so known as M45. This is actually also using the new mosaic feature, which I'll also be releasing a video about soon. Um, so this is a, if you haven't used the mosaic feature, this is a larger field of view than you would typically get. I will now boost the brightness and contrast using the existing image enhancing features. That looks pretty good. and. A little bit of a bump to the saturation as well. You can see that's looking uh, pretty good for the 30 minutes of exposure time I have so far, but it is a pretty noisy image. And you can see there in the new feature in this update, if you tap the question mark on the screen, it will it will label all the icons on the screen. So I'll tap the intelligent denoise icon and see that it takes a little bit of, a little while to process. It says about 15 seconds, but in my experience, um, it's closer to 30 seconds, which is fine. Um, AI denoising is a pretty processing intensive operation. And now you can see the result. Um, you can see that the image is really cleaned up. The contrast is greatly enhanced. Um, there's essentially no noise in the image now. I think it's done a really fantastic job. My only comment here is that I would say it might be just a tad aggressive. Um, if you tap the comp icon on the top there, um, you can tap back and forth between seeing the original and the denoise, and the improvement is really quite remarkable. Um, I'm really impressed with this feature. I think it's a great update to the S50. If you're happy with the denoise results, you can... Uh, save the image, or export it in different ways. As always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.
Hello, I am the Tulsa Astro Geek. Today I'm going to be looking at the latest update to the C-Star S50 Android app. This is the... Today I'm going to be looking at... Today I'm going to be looking at the Android version 2.2.0 update to the C-Star S50 Android app. Um, it's got a couple of 